Hi, I'm Dave with DB Happy Photography, and this is my review of the Copper River Bag Company's 15-inch Sonoma Buckhorn in the uh, Distress Finish. So let's talk a little bit about the outside of the bag, a little bit about what's inside, um, and then at the very end I'll, I'll talk a little bit about a few things I wouldn't mind seeing improved. The bag itself, 100-year uh, uh, warranty, American-made company. Uh, full grain leather, stitching is done extremely well, uh, heavy duty hardware, D-rings, uh, clasps, clasps are just made really well. I don't think that this is going to break any time in the near future. Um, you can also order this bag with four D-rings on the bottom. They say that you can make it into a backpack. I would probably utilize those D-rings to attach um, a tripod. To the bottom with some straps of some sort. Nice leather strap. Uh, you can order it either with leather strap or you can order it with a uh, cotton strap. I would highly suggest leather strap because again it just adds to to the beauty of the bag. I do need to clean this. It's about uh, about two years old. I haven't cleaned it. I haven't conditioned it. It's it's held up extremely well, but I definitely need to do that just to kind of protect the bag overall. It takes on scratches. Uh, it takes on the shape of how you use it in a daily ba on a daily basis. Uh, that's just part of the beauty of, of having a leather bag. Um, when I first got it, uh, I had this great leather smell, still does, but I had it sitting in my office, had my door closed, uh, came back into the office and just had this, 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 this full aroma of, of leather. So as far as for the outside of the bag, uh, there are two pouches, one on either side of the bag can probably fit an older iPhone in it. My Android phone or a new iPhone I don't believe would fit in there. I wouldn't mind seeing these pouches being a little bit larger. And then there's also a pouch on the back of the, uh, of the bag. Once again, I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit more space, not necessarily so much gusseted, but just a little bit more um, material of some sort. Uh, that way you can put a file folder in there without having it uh, wrinkle or, or crumple. I do have a hard piece of cardboard in there to help minimize that for the times I do I have a file folder and some papers in there. That just helps uh, give it a little bit more rigidity. Um, the pouches do hold a good bit. Uh, card holder, um, cigar lighter, other side, pens, pen, pencil, highlighter, uh, there's a screwdriver, and if you have a cigar cutter then you also need to have a cigar lighter as well. The inside of the bag. There are two pouches in the back, right up in here that are sewn in. Once again, I wouldn't mind seeing those being a little bit larger. I probably tend to try to carry too much with me at any one time. They're probably sized properly. I just wouldn't mind having a little bit more, uh, a little bit more space. Copper River does make a 17-inch version of this of this bag as well. I wouldn't mind that's actually used as a, as, a, as, a, uh, as a messenger bag. I would probably use that with the camera insert. That way I have a little, about two more inches on, on either side that I can either put in a speed light, uh, sunglasses, some other everyday carry type items, depending on, again, what I'm doing. Again, it was bought as an everyday bag, so I'm constantly switching things in and out depending on, on what I want to do on any given basis. But again, batteries in the one pouch. Altoid case with a PayPal card swipe, some headphones, a couple other things in there, lens, uh, lens brush. And then the space between the bag and the camera insert, you can, you can kind of stick a few little things in there as well. On the one side I have a slide strap, Think Tank's Pixel Pocket um, CF and uh, SD card holder. And then in the front, I have a notebook, Kindle Fire, and once again, another piece of uh, hard cardboard, just again, to kind of give it a little bit of rigidity. The insert itself, uh, rocket blower, uh, 24 to 70, 70 to 200, and then my camera with a um, 85-14 on it. And then in each one of those little areas that I have in the, in the insert uh, lens cloths. The insert does pull out. And you can 
see there's a good bit of space in there. <clears throat> so it could be used, again, as an overnight bag as well. Throw some clothes in there, throw your camera over on top. Again, just depending on what you're doing, the bag ends up being extremely versatile. The inserts, I don't know if Copper River makes this insert themselves, or if they have somebody make, the, make it for them. There's not a lot of padding. It's, it's just there for basic protection to keep things from, from banging into each other. I actually put a cloth in the bottom of this bag. I'm going to probably replace that with some um, egg crate foam, just so that when I sit the bag down, if I sit it down too hard or, so, or it slips out of my hand, God forbid, uh, at least there's some padding uh, as opposed to it just the, uh, the leather itself and then, then the lenses. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit of padding on this. The other thing I wouldn't mind seeing is this being just a little bit taller. If you have the uh, 70 to 200 in here and then depending on what lens you have on, on your camera, they have a tendency sometimes to bounce and, and bump up against each other. Not that that's the end of the world, but you want to try to minimize that as much as possible. That's why I have the uh, a cloth. I just kind of keep that on top, just kind of keep everything uh, from shifting a good bit or shifting. Um, love the bag. Again, it's made here in the United States, 100-year uh, warranty. I know that they're going to stand behind their product if I ever have a problem, if I ever find you know any of the stitching starting to come loose. I'm sure I can contact them and, and get that resolved fairly quickly. Uh, I definitely suggest that you check them out. Copper River Bag. Uh, I'll leave the link down below. If you have any comments or questions on this review, please uh, leave them below as well, uh, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Have a great day, and take care. So while I'm repacking this bag, and debating whether I'm going to do a 300 in first take. A um, couple things, I, 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 I've had some other leather bags over the years. I've had one leather bag over the years. I've also had a couple other camera bags over the years. Uh, I had purchased a I didn't really like it. I didn't like the leather that was on it. It, it, it looked it to me and felt plastic. Uh, more plastic than anything. It didn't feel like real leather. Um, I didn't like how the bag itself, uh, I just didn't, I, there was just a lot of things I didn't like the bag. I, I probably had it for about maybe three weeks before I ended up uh, throwing it up on eBay and selling it off. <clears throat> the bag I did use on a daily basis um, before, th before this bag was a retros uh, Think Tank Retrospective 30. Absolutely love that bag. Still love that bag to this day. We'll, we'll never sell that, that bag off as well. Um, I end up now, I use it now for, for speed lights and, all, and my lighting equipment. Um, still again, just love that bag and we'll continue to use it. My significant other, she hates when I look at, we'll start looking at bags because I tend to buy them and then don't like them for one reason or another and then sell them off within a few weeks of, of buying them. That hasn't happened with this. I've had this again for, for just a little under two years. It's not going anywhere. I will probably end up buying another um, bag. I originally had thought about buying a 14 inch version of, of this bag, but I think at this point I'd probably, I probably, or excuse me, have thought about getting the 10 inch version, a, a, a similar version in, in this distressed, uh, distressed uh, finish. And I'm thinking that that's just going to be too small. So I would probably end up ordering another 15 just to have them side by side. Uh, notes. I wouldn't mind keeping a 50 millimeter in here also. I'd probably have to stack it, so I would need to get something to hold that, that 50 millimeter, uh, a lens pouch of some sort. Um, once again, I, I'm probably just trying to keep way too much in the bag at any one time. And again, I do find myself um, switching things out quite often. I uh, wouldn't mind keeping a uh, trigger, a shutter release in here as well. But you have to kind of pick and choose what you're going to carry with you on any, at any given time. Again, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Again, this is about my 301st take. I'm probably going to try to not do it again. 
Of course, that's why I said on the last take and realized I only took a photo and not uh, not an actual video. That was fun. That was. I don't do this. I will probably never do another review at all or another review again. But I hope you enjoyed the one that uh, the one I did do. So, um, oh, and one other little thing I'll, I'll mention in this in this little ex, ex, extra excerpt. This is just a bag doodad. Um, originally, I thought it was going to be a little bit smaller. And really what it is, it's a bottle opener. And it's made by a company, a gentleman, a company called Nas Forge. N-A-Z-F-O-R-G-E. And you can find them at nasforge.com or you can find them uh, at Etsy. They're up in Montreal. What's cool is it is a handmade piece of, of iron, uh, iron and copper, and it is hand forged. And you just don't find a lot of people doing things by hand. But here we have uh, a bottle opener uh, that's been made by hand. I think it looks kind of cool. It looks good on the bag. You have a bag that's been made, again, once again, by hand. Uh, somebody sat down and said, hey, I want to do a bag. Um, came up with the, this design and then, and then started putting it together. And then, of course, they have uh, hundreds of different designs uh, for, for Copper River. But yeah, check out Nas Forge as well. And uh, I'm done babbling. I'm packed up. I think this video is finished. I hope it is. Take care. Have a good day.